Okay, so, so here we have here we have a fully functional six track programmable sequencer embedded into a Rubik's Cube. So all six tracks are running in parallel. They can have different speeds and have whatever notes, but the notes are determined by the colors on the Rubik's Cube. So if I take Ruby's Cube and I set this permutation, I stick it back into the machine, and that becomes the loop that is played by the machine. And then, as I, as I move the cube around physically in space, I start mixing the different speeds and the different volumes of each track. So the idea is that after having watched years and years of guys behind their laptops, um, you know, clicking on, for all I know, iTunes and making sound and visuals, I figured, okay, let's create, let's start creating interactive instruments that are algorithmic, that have dynamic, modular logics and composition, but at the same time are simple, the public can understand, um, but that also keep some of the difficulty and uh, performative nature of um, really what algorithms are about. I mean, music has for years um, been playing with pretty complex algorithmic structures. Um, and so why is it that we're, on, we're on, still on these sequencers that look like you're working in a spreadsheet? So the Ruby's Cube has all of those aspects, and then it's got like the really like kick-ass, old-school, true old-school geek style of just you know trying to figure out at once how to solve it and make jams.